What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson, the Muscle PhD here, coming at you with a really interesting question, which is, can you gain muscle on a vegetarian diet the same way, or vegan diet, the same way as you can on a carnivore diet? And the answer is no. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Come on, Doc. We need more than that. Come on. <laughs> all right, okay. All right, all right. I'm going to go into more detail, okay? I'm going to go into more detail. First off, the important thing to understand is that um, all kidding aside, can you gain muscle on uh, a vegan diet? Yes, you can, okay? Is it a lot harder to gain muscle? Absolutely, okay? There was a study that was done by Campbell, and it was in the 90s, and they had individuals trained for a couple months, and basically what they ended up doing was they had a, a vegan diet, and then they had an a a, a omnivore diet so they could eat meat, okay? And the dietitians controlled for protein intake, right? Um, and basically the, the group that trained hard for a couple of months who was on the, uh, the vegan diet lost muscle and gained fat. Now, I don't know about you, but if I lost muscle and gained fat and trained for that long, I'd be really pissed off, right? Um, but on the omnivore diet, they gained muscle and lost fat. Now, guys, listen, there's a lot of people out there that don't eat meat and that's fine. Some of it is for religious reasons. Some of it is because uh, for moral reasons. You know, some of it is for other reasons, and that, that's fine. What I want to do is provide you some guidance, okay? What you have to understand is that basically um, the, the original concept is that um, we're talking about complete proteins, okay? So a complete protein is a protein that has all of the essential amino acids, okay? Now... Uh, vegetarian sources, if you take grains, for example, they're lacking amino acids. If you take things like beans or legumes, they're lacking amino acids. And one of the things you can do is combine protein sources to have a complete protein. Now, basically, vegetarian books and stuff like that thought that was enough, okay? But just because you have all the essential amino acids doesn't mean you have them all in the right amount, okay? And so that's why it becomes very hard to gain muscle. Well. We really need to look at the amino acid leucine. Leucine, in essence, um, triggers protein synthesis. And when you're looking at things like rice protein, or which is becoming popular, pea protein, right? Wheat protein, you're talking about 6% leucine, maybe 5%, okay? And to maximally stimulate protein synthesis, you might need 40 and the upwards of 50 grams of protein at a setting to maximize protein synthesis. Whereas with whey, you might need, you know, or, or chicken, you might need 20 to 30 grams, okay? So what we did, we did a study um, with, uh, actually myself, um, Dr. Ryan Lowry, um, and uh, Dr. Jordan Joy, uh, back, in, our, back in, in my old lab, and we actually saw that if you take rice protein and you give like high amounts, like 50 grams, that you can make as many gains as you could with whey protein, um, uh, muscle gains. And the reason why is because it was 50 grams a serving, right? But if you put whey in, but my brother did a study where he compared uh, this vegetarian source of protein, which was wheat in this case, versus whey at lower doses, and wheat couldn't simulate protein synthesis at all. And in fact, <clears throat> when you had the wheat protein, you gained a bunch of fat and you lost muscle, um, except in the calves. The calves got bigger because you were so fat, okay? <laughs> so seriously, like this is dead serious. <laughs> this is what his study found. So first off, so, so, but what if you can't eat that much protein? This, my friend, is where branched chain amino acids comes into play. My brother took wheat protein compared to whey protein. He supplemented the wheat protein with branched chain amino acids uh, or leucine, and it stimulates as much uh, protein synthesis as the whey protein. So if you are on a vegetarian diet, you absolutely need to supplement with essential amino acids. But it's not just that. You need to supplement with a lot of other things. Make sure you're getting vitamins, multivitamin, multimineral, you know what I mean? If you're a female, a lot of times iron is gonna be a lot lower. You need to supplement with iron, and you really need to do your homework, right? Because it's not as simple as, oh, I'm going to combine rice and beans and I'm going to have a complete protein. You might have a complete protein, but you're not going to grow. 
I can guarantee you and you're gonna get fat. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time.